Hello, this is Teresa. Welcome to my channel. Today, or this evening, I am doing December Ember. I haven't said that for a while, so I haven't been practicing. But this is going to be for Prompt 21. And um, I'm, I'm inspired by uh, Moxie Mojo, I think is the channel name and she's been following every prompt in fact she's probably like in Australia or New Zealand or something so they're probably ahead of the United States timeline so like it's the 20th here where it's the 21st there so thus I'm working on the 21st prompt when today is the 20th but I'm going to schedule this to release on the 21st. Now, the first thing I thought I would do is I, I did this part to kind of, mm, due to the inspiration of her watermark type inking. So this is my take from that. Then when I thought about what I wanted to do, I decided I wanted to do an accordion type thing. So my pages will fold like this. And this could be an insert or I don't know. But that's what I'm doing. So I already had these pages done. So I did a couple more pages. And then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to use some journal cards. So I thought that I might like use some background stuff behind the journal cards. Yeah, something like that. Oops, Effie's yelling at me that I didn't take him out so that he could watch what's being done. Let me put this on and then I'll get Effie out. Okay, say hello Effie. And Effie you can go right there to watch. If we can see you just a little bit. Okay. Now, this one is going to have, I was thinking this underneath it. This is just some vellum that has been inked with alcohol markers and then sprayed with alcohol. So the name of this prompt is something like Vintage Meets Modern. I'll put it in the title when I upload the video but I just jumped in and wanted to get started so 
So my interpretation was that modern is on the front and vintage is with the cabinet cards on the back. So then I was going to take this on the back here put that guy let's put that guy like that yeah more like that And then I was thinking we would do this with you. Hmm. So let's go ahead and get the glue book. really do a good job of putting glue on this. be putting this underneath my mat when I'm done to get the curls out. Okay, he's going to go like that. Let's see if we can put some more glue down to make this stick. around the edges. Had a lovely dinner tonight. We had to go to Albert, or not Albertsons, um, Walmart to get a little duffel bag for me because we're going on a Christmas vacation, four day Christmas vacation to San Diego, Mission Bay, and, um, okay, now, I need my stamps, or maybe not, maybe just, I should just use bits and bobs, that's what I should do, anyways, um, Had to get a duffel bag. 
we're leaving Friday morning. And so just picked up a lemon pepper roast chicken there at Walmart. And got a nice bag of salad, some shredded carrots to mix in with it, had a nice salad. He had some sliced tomato, nice dinner. Thread keeps getting in my way. Oh my gosh, it sticks to my finger, everything else. So let's go ahead and use it. My golly, you keep getting in my way, we're gonna use ya. So, glue down there already. Or not. It's bothering me. Go away. Fingers are too sticky to work with that. Just looking at what I got in my bits and bobs. I haven't totally decided yet. It's a kind of hard decision for me, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to take any crafting stuff with me. I don't know. That's like a smoker going on vacation without any cigarettes.
Now, what are we going to do for you, pretty lady? Can't be anything really big. And you never know what's going to look good. I want just a little bit of that. Hmm. upside down though. Okay, now let's see how this is working. Oh yeah, it's folding together nicely. And a person could even, like, make a little hinge and put it on a page and then put a tab here and pull it out. Yeah. So, let's take our scissors. to not get dog-eared like that was. Now, I still want some stuff here. I just don't know what. cover all that up. I wonder what it look, would look like. Just taking little bits and pieces and doing something with them.
using some Linked at Stella for the flower to give it some glitter. And I don't know if this will work while the Linked at Stella is still wet. Now, since this isn't really something to write on, I think what I want to do is some very small pockets. do hate to cover my artwork. There's a little pocket there. little pocket there. I'm even thinking we might go to SeaWorld when we're in San Diego, or maybe the zoo. I'll probably look at the prices and go, oh, no, I don't need to do that, because I'm kind of a cheapskate sometimes. But I do love to go on the bar boardwalk and just stand there and watch the ocean. I like to do it during the day and in the evening. 
There's a fun little place to get fish tacos. There's a Starbucks on the corner to walk down and get coffee in the morning. I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, I need one little more piece of paper. The other thing I was thinking is that I have a bunch of, um, where did I put them? There they are. Yeah. It's a heavy box of ephemera. So I thought some of these were tiny. These are all thank you tags from Rachel with Roxy Creation that she put in with orders that I purchased. I've had more than this. These are just four of them. So I was thinking of using these for in here. Actually, we could put that one there, put that there, and put that there, maybe that there. Yeah, that looks good. And then, let's see, this goes like that, like that, that's the front, and that's the back, so you go like that, and then like that, and then you can go like that, and then like that. I like it a lot. So, the next thing I want to do, this isn't big enough. Actually, I don't think it is. Nine inch. Oh, it's not elastic. I got this off of a clothing tag, and I thought I might do something with it, but I don't think so. So, what to do? Let's look in our textile. a little closure for this. Oh, Effie's falling. I'm sorry, Effie, I did not take any input from you tonight, but I pretty much had my plans all laid out. Oh, I know. Let's see. What do I do? I do this. And then that. So I need a button.
nighttime in here, so kind of dark to be doing brown and black with inadequate lighting. Okay. too tight. I thought it pulled through more than I meant for it to. So I made my knot real loose hoping that I'll be able to pull the knot out. that worked. It wants to bunch up, but I think if I do this, hmm. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Even more so like that. So let's trim. And voila. We've got a little insert to go in our journal. And lots more can be done with it. Put like maybe some more pockets could you know use this as a prototype to do something different let's see where we've got number 21 at I may not have even there it is so we could we have a little pocket there but that's not gonna work So we could do a belly band or a fabric pocket, maybe a fabric pocket. That would be fun. 
11. Okay, where are my scissors? I'm going to take just a little bit more of this off. And then this can fit inside of there. Or do I want to go back to my other idea? And just do something like this. Hmm. I could wrap that around. And then glue that there. And then tuck that into there. I think I like that better. Maybe, yeah, I was looking to see if I could salvage this. Maybe I could. Let's see.
was kind of thinking about making this just a little tuck over here on this side. Gotta get my glue to behave. Okay. Oh yes, that's nice. It kind of acts like a little bit of a tab too. You can see that beautiful fabric right there very easily to know where to open up for that. My page is buckling a little bit, but that's okay. And then if I do want to put something in here, I still can, and then I can still put this right here, and everything works. Very good. Oh, what was this for? I'm trying to remember what that was for. So we just completed Vintage Meets Modern. friendship bracelet. That's why it's right there for number 25. This is going to be friendship bracelet. So I haven't yet decided what I'm going to do with it, but it's for number 25. So I have my friendship bracelet. But what in the world am I going to do with it, Effie? I don't know. If you have any ideas, folks, be sure to put them in the comments. I'd love to hear what your ideas are. So let's go ahead and put things away. I've kind of gone out of order. But, like, I had a start on that, and then I do have a start on um, the robot one. I just have to get it printed out. And then I haven't done plaid and polka dots, but I am looking forward to that. Plaid and polka dots, please touch. That means it's going to need to be something tactile. That would be... Nice to touch with fabrics. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Put Effie away so he doesn't get lost. And he can take a nap until the next video.
There we go. All right. Okay, Effie says goodbye. See you in the next video.